out here and we're back with Dom's build we're working on his 1.8T head pretty much we're going to do the full assembly besides cams and uh so not a full assembly partial assembly we're here with Tanner and Dom and right now he's doing his tube seal so let's get to work because it's Pichiao's garage all right so Dom is currently doing the tube seals on here uh using Victor N's tube seals here we go Part number one two three one three zero six zero three. We only use these when we do rebuilds on uh, 1.8 T heads. It's the best stuff out there. Um, after this, we're gonna be installing SuperTech valves. Woo, SuperTech stock springs and retainers and keepers. Uh, since this is not a really high horsepower motor, we're not going with the, you know uh, major upgrades like the SuperTech spring system or a full valve train from SuperTech or Ferrera. This is going to be kind of a 300 horsepower build. So uh, the reason why we're upgrading the valves is just because number one, it's a smart thing to do when you're going over 250 horsepower. Number two, it's just it's just a smart thing to do. And number three, the ones that came out of it were bent as shit. <laughs> that was also we couldn't reuse the old stuff. Cut straight uh, on JVL. Yeah, cut. Don't listen to Tanner. <laughs> I was about to say, like, oh, yeah, no, no. Is this one? Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just make a little pie cut, straighten it out. Oh, we just heat them up and hit them with a hammer and straighten yeah, them out? Put them in the vice. Yeah, they're like, I yeah. do. That's probably one of the worst ones. Yeah. It's got that cholo lean. <laughs> so. As he's doing this, we're pretty much going to do is film snippets and snippets until we build the head. You guys already seen me build many, many, many 1.8T heads, so this is just Dom doing his work. I actually have not taught him how to do anything yet, uh, except we're going to learn how to use a specialty tool um, for the head. This is actually a, a dealership tool to do the intake side of your valves. This is actually a super cool tool. Um, I've actually machined one of these, uh, so I'm going to try to replicate these tools because you can no longer buy one of these uh, new. You have to like hunt the internet for them, and they're about like 100 to 200 bucks for these now. So I'm going to figure out how to machine one of these and start selling these because these are super cool. And they cut your time in half um, in putting your valves or your, your head together pretty much. That you know a little something because it saves me a lot of work. Work and time. Work and time. Because now I don't have to teach you anything. I just got to make sure you don't mess up. Mm -hmm. So these are the brand new SuperTech valves. Um, these are factory specification valves. So when we take these to the machine shop, uh, pretty much our the machine shop guys don't ever have to actually. Uh, What's it called? Um, grind these down or um, lap them because they grind the valve seats to factory specs. So these bolt, these are just slide right in. Nothing special. So right now we're just putting a little bit of oil on them or assembly lube and slapping them all in. We're doing the exhaust side first, and then once we're done with that, we're going to do the intake side because the exhaust side is actually the most time consuming. Um, no, the fastest. The intake side is the most time consuming. Give me this Did we buy you a trash can? He's not telling you what to do. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not poor. I'm semi poor. I'm semi poor. I'm full on poor. <laughs> so you're like a wealthy peasant? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you hit that right on the spot. <laughs> My wealth doesn't come from money. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It comes from his knowledge. I shot that thing. I can't do it. Bro, I actually do. So, how dare you? <laughs> Salvation Army? Uh, no. It depends. It depends on what I want. 
Goodwill, I don't shop at Goodwill anymore. Dude, they Perfect. charge... Their stuff is like, is like retail pricing now. I know. <laughs> I went there the other day for jeans, and it was 24 bucks. Like, Heck no, I used to come here to go buy jeans for $2. <laughs> Ross is cheaper. And that says a lot, okay? I love Ross. I think she man. still does. I, I do when I can, especially for the kids. Right yeah, now, that, the ki- that's they, usually what it was for when I was younger. She used to. No. She was a little cheap ass. I mean, it's, why, why are we gonna Why are we gonna buy you expensive stuff when you're gonna just destroy it within a week? Because I'm. I wasn't My dad got me a twenty dollar pair of shoes from Big Five. I went through like a pair of shoes every couple of weeks. See, I used to go through Vans. Fucking blink of an eye, I started wearing different shoes. One cut, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> They slip out, Bob. I know. All right. I, I got dinged one already. Oh, really? From the last video. I love how I put the zip tie on there and it didn't go on there. <laughs> you fired. That's why I brought you down. You know, it's just going to sit there for right now. I know, that's all they're going to hear in the video is you. <laughs> <laughs> it works now, it works now. All right. So... What do we do next, Dom? Come on. Uh, we gotta put the raggy wag. If we're not gonna put the, the intakes in yet, then we're gonna put the raggy rag on, flip it over, and put the springs on. Oh, we still gotta get the clean springs out. Mm-hmm. Um, flip it over, put the raggy rag, hold them down, and then compress. Strap. Yeah, strap, compress the springs, put the lockers in, and then we're good to go. So we're doing now the springs. We just uh, chem dipped them. Uh, we have to cover them with a little bit of assembly lube because the oxidation process will start since we removed all the nice oil on them. Uh, so we're just gonna cover them with brand new assembly lube. This is just gonna help um, make sure the parts don't start to oxidize when they're inside the head. Uh, since the head won't be in and be running immediately, <laughs> Freaking eh? Um, so we want to do this so we just prevent any issues down the road. That's what happens when you get a bunch of kids to do a YouTube video. <laughs> this video is not for kids, FYI. 18 and old, older, please. I don't see any uh, kids younger. You'd be surprised. Um, either way. <laughs> oh, gosh. So like a plastic worm. No, it smells like Vicks. No, mine smells like... <clears throat> it smells good. Mine smells All right, like we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Dominic already put in the springs, all lubed up. We're now putting the keepers in. I mean the retainers. Look at these retainers. Keeper install <laughs> for the head, and he uh, keep in mind he's got to do this uh, 19 more times. Good thing it's you and not me. The good thing though is when he does the once he finishes the exhaust, um, the intake side is going to be a hundred times easier because we'll have a, t- a tool to hold everything down. For him as he does it so makes life substantially like better 
I should figure out how to make a tool that it's like a wooden board, maybe, with like uh, rubber pieces on the inside of it. So you can just do all cylinders at once. Yeah. You know? I think that'd be cool. That way it evens the whole entire like, uh, bottom of it. <laughs> That's fine, but chewing in my ears a no go for me. Oh, did you damage anything? No, I don't think so. Gotta find the retainer though. <laughs> Might be this one. Dom here is on the last exhaust valve after a few uh, fights with it. There goes uh, Riley and Tanner. They're on their way out now. Yes, Tanner has a whip. That's how he got Dominic to work faster. All right, so the exhaust side is now done. Now I have to work on the intake side. Intake side is going to be a lot easier to a point. Um, we have a, a factory tool that will help us do the job a lot easier for us. Uh, so we're going to clear this out. Uh, we got to oil up the, the springs. We're not going to do the, oh yeah, we're not going to use that tool. Dom is very, very frustrated, so he's not saying words right now. Because <laughs> that could have been done a lot faster, huh? You the V8? Mm -hmm. Oh, we learned something new today, huh? You learned that it's hard. But but it's worth it in the end, man. It'll be worth it in the end. Do you have that little Civic modifier? So now Dom is working on now the uh, intake side, but we're using the uh, factory tool here. 
so you'll see that the spring is now officially compressed, so the valve is compressed. Oh, the springs, yeah, spring. And all he has to do is just wiggle the keepers in, and that's it. Repeat the process, pretty much three, six, nine, twelve more times, or actually eleven, and we're done. The downside of this tool, it's not that big of a downside, but the downside is that you can only do one valve at a time uh, without resetting it, like because you have to reset it multiple times. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but in comparison to pulling the lever and holding it with your arm and doing all that, this is like a dream. All right, Dom. Finally done. So, brand new valves, stock, stock springs. You just dropped my tool. Uh huh. Uh -huh I just saw it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Look, now you can put it back over there where it was when you dropped it. Uh huh. See. So, uh, Super Tech valves, stock springs, uh, keepers and retainers. So. That part of the head is kept uh, pretty much stock. Just the valves is all that matters since we're gonna go to about 300 horsepower. You know, in, in this kind of option, uh, you could just do uh, exhaust valves. Intake valves are not important, but if you're going halfway, go all the way with your valves at least. It's just, been, it's just super beneficial. It keeps the temperatures under control and just prevents things from having more issues down the road. So. But all your, your springs, your uh, valve, uh, your keepers, and your retainers are good for up to about 300 to 350 horsepower. If you're going to go to 400 plus, you might as well just do a full entire valve train and enjoy the added benefits and preventing valve float, especially when you get start revving your motor that high up and having that type of power. Um, valve float is pretty much where the valve just stays down and doesn't really go back up because you're spinning so fast. Um, and that has a huge, huge potential where the valve will pretty much hit the piston and that's the end of it. So to prevent that to happening, just build a better valve train. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in with Dom and me, Pinchal, and pretty much a quick rundown on what we did on uh, Dom's head today. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing his block right over there. We got IE rods, stock pistons. Catco coated, uh, cat coated uh, bearings, uh, ARP head studs, what else did we get? Uh, stock uh, main cat bolts. So pretty much we're building the block for 300 horsepower or, more or above just for safety reasons. So see you guys next time. Peace out and you guys have a wonderful day.